the subject of room acoustics comes up frequent enough and um, the first reason uh, why it comes up is because people don't understand it and they take acoustics for granted and the air is free, sound is free, why think about it? Um, the reason room acoustics m matters is because of how we hear as a, a human being, as an organism. Uh, we um, collect sound for the first thirtieth of a second after we hear it. So if I make a little sound and uh, for a thirtieth of a second I'm listening to all the echoes, you might say, and, and letting those echoes add to the sound of the direct uh, clap, the sound from the clap that directly hits my ears, uh, is augmented by and beefed up by the sound of all the early reflections. In a small room, uh, all those early reflections uh, uh, occur off the ceiling, the floor, the table, the windows, and things like that, and sound is much louder inside of a room. If you made the same clap outside in a big open field, uh, the sound would appear much quieter. Um, the echo that you hear in a field off of a barn, you know, hundreds of feet away, you make a clap and you hear an echo. Well, that's a very low level reflection, quiet reflection, and it's still very audible. But inside of a room, those reflections are coming at a person uh, multiple at very uh, frequent in timing and, and very loud reflections, and we don't even hear them, we don't even think about them. Well, that's why room acoustics matters, is because how those reflections arrive at the listener, the ones that we can't really perceive as separate reflections, how they arrive, the sequence that they arrive at, the frequency characteristic of each of the reflections, it, it gives the sound that we're making and hearing a voice, a character, and it can be a good character, it could be a hollow sound, it could be a, a you know, an echoey kind of sound, it could be a s soft and unclear sound. Um, so how the room handles the reflections determines how the sound sounds.